What's up, guys? Um, it is Peter coming at you today with the lunch break. Let's get started. Uh, open up a version Bible app. Um, it's 12 study devotional, Hillsong Younger Free, day two. Um, it has a song correlating with it, just like last time. Real love. Um, super awesome song. Love it. And before we jump in, I miss you guys so much. We miss you guys. We love you. We cannot wait to be back with you guys worshiping. It's awesome. I cannot wait to be with you guys. It's on, it's it's going to be an awesome time when we're all back together. Until or not, without further ado, let's get this started. Um, so the idea of this devotion is real love. What is real love? Um, and kind of finding love in the wrong places. Um, I what stuck out to me is, and I kind of see a pattern too in like my life and like what I see around me in like our culture is we try to find love in all the wrong places. Um, we try to find our identity a lot of the times in different things that won't sustain us in the long run. Um, and our, that weren't meant to fulfill us in the way that we want them to fill us. Whether that be our friends, whether that be our clubs at school, whether that be social media, all of these things we try to fill into us to kind of give us a sense of identity and to feel love and feel accepted and that desire to feel want that all of us experience. We all want to feel loved. That fades, you know, because you, let's face it, you mean you change friends. I mean, you move schools to different clubs. I mean, you graduate. I mean, you grow up. Um, social media. Um, there's a barrier between how real you can be with them and you. there's that complex of do you really know you? And you're kind of being lonely with all of these followers, which is kind of sad. Um, but none of those things are necessarily bad. It's if you put all of your identity, all your love, and your desire is only for that. And it will feel, make you, at the end of the day, it will make you feel empty. But the one thing that won't is the real love that we see in Jesus. And in Psalms 23, 3, it says, He restores my soul. He guides me in the path of righteousness. Um, that is in the passage of the devotional that you guys can read to the full thing. It's awesome stuff. Yeah, I mean, he, he straight up it's, it straight up says that he restores your soul. Um, he gives you a sense of peace. He gives you a sense of identity. He gives you a sense of love that you don't necessarily feel with anything else. He fills that void that we all have in our hearts. We want to feel love. We want to feel accepted. And God fulfills that fully. So those of you guys who are longing and who are alone, especially in quarantine, it's super easy. I've felt it on multiple occasions of feeling isolated, feeling alone. I encourage you guys just to dig into God's word. Let it speak to you. Let it fulfill you. Let it give you that sense of fulfillment that it does. Because it got, it says God's word is living and active. And it will fulfill you. And that love that he has you, he loves you so much. And you don't even realize it. He loves you so much and he wants to give you all these things. All you got to do is just read his word. It's literally spelled out there that Jesus, God, is love. He just loves loving. God is a big, he's a big lover. He just wants to love you so much. And if you just let him. Um, and that's the real love that's going to sustain you in the long run. I just think that was amazing. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Give me encouragement. You're not alone. We love you. We can't wait to be with you guys. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, shoot them out to your leaders. Um, they'd love to answer that, kind of have a discussion with you on that. Um, and yeah, I cannot wait. And it was an honor being with you guys today for lunch break. I can't wait to be with you guys. You guys rock. Stay fresh. I love you so much. Bye, guys.